Hi, this is Steve Reams, Executive Director of Ada County Medical Society, and I'm really proud of what we've been able to accomplish over the last several years around physician well-being. It's hard for me to believe that it's been almost five years since we started the Physician Vitality Program, which is our confidential, cost-free, convenient, and competent therapy services for our members. Now, any member can look up a contracted therapist or counselor in our list on our website, make a direct appointment, and I don't even know about it. Nobody knows about it except you and the counselor. And we receive very limited demographics back from that just so that we can report on who is utilizing the services without any names. And that steadfast commitment to maintaining your privacy is really at the root of why this program has grown so much over the past five years. You can see that we're on track this quarter to surpass the thousand appointments mark in five years. During 2020, our utilizations doubled uh, the number of appointments from the previous year. And you can see that this has ebbed and flowed over time, both with things that have happened locally as well as with the pandemic. And currently we're seeing another uptick in appointments for obvious reasons. Now, I recognize the incredible amount of grief and loss, stress, overwhelm, and anger so many of you are experiencing right now. And although you may not feel like you have the time, when you do get a chance or a moment of downtime, please consider making an appointment with a counselor or a therapist. You know, in every race, a driver has to bring in the car for a pit stop at some point. They need a gas, a change of tires, mechanical tweaks, whatever. And if a machine needs this, how much more our own human hearts, which are experiencing tremendous strain that we've really never experienced before in our lives. Now, I'm very excited to let you know that during last month's IMA House of Delegates meeting, a resolution was passed to explore a statewide program like our own. In fact, we've already provided some limited appointments during COVID to people around the state and also locally who aren't members of ACMS. And we're now gonna be looking at this possibility of either using our backbone or building out another network so that statewide we can provide these services. In fact, we'll begin that process of piloting with the Idaho Academy of Family Physicians first quarter 2022. Now, you might think that this PVP counseling service is the only thing we have going, because it's pretty much the only thing we ever talk about. But in fact, it's just really a sliver of activity that is going on around wellness. So we've got kind of some major areas. The first is programming. Some of the programming we have is the support and promotion of physicians who lead their own groups or discussions, uh, such as Dr. Deb Roman, who has Navigating a Pandemic Together, or Dr. Heather Hammerstead, who has the Idaho Women in Medicine group, and Dr. Avalash Desai, who runs the ACMS Mindfulness and Meditation Group. These are great examples of physicians taking leadership and ownership of bringing people together to discuss important things like this. And we also promote wellness topics through some of our other education events, either winter clinics or our career readiness training event for uh, residents. There's nothing also just like learning from other like-minded people, isn't there? And that's why we really focus on networking like this. And we've been doing that all these years. You know, in 2018, we had a series uh, bringing in some national experts like Colin West and Paul Deschamps and Dyke Truman and really begin that conversation as a medical community. And whenever people who are working on the same topic get together and discuss these things, it creates a lot of energy. And so we like introducing people who are working in the space to each other. Also focus a lot on researching what's working, not just peer review things that are coming out nationally, but also exploring some of the local innovations that have happened here in Boise uh, around physician well-being. And, you know, we listen to podcasts, read books, and plug into some of the national networks of experts who are talking about this all the time, bringing those things back to the organization and letting them know. If you want to look at some of the things that we found, you can go to our resource website, physicianvitality.org, and that's organized around the National Charter on Physician Well-Being Principles. And this forms the basis of educating our local members, the employers and the institutions that are in our area. We've consulted with all the local players trying to identify a leader in each employer group or institution that we can talk to. And you know, sometimes that, that means being an advocate and kind of being really bold with some of our ideas and saying, you know, here's some ways that you might be able to reduce some friction for the physicians or trainees that you serve so that they can be better off. We sponsored a resolution, in fact, in 2017 at the House of Delegates, and that ended up bringing change at the Board of Medicine level, where they began to, to change the questions that they were asking around mental health on license applications and renewals.
skills. And so those are the kind of things that we can work into and really stick up for you on your behalf and reduce stigma around the seeking of mental health. But here's the fact. I can't be everywhere. ACMS can't have its fingers in everything. And frankly, we don't want to. I have no direct control over how you are cared for by your employer, the industry, or the Board of Medicine for that matter. All I can do is provide fuel for physicians who want to lean into the space and make change so that the water level rises for all other physicians. And so we can provide you that fuel, the physician on the ground or leaders in different employer groups. And ACMS is not just me, not just our board, it's every one of you members who are doing something to create change in this area. So one final thought. While we may be still experiencing crisis standards of care in Idaho right now, you have to believe me when I say this, of all the medical communities, county societies that I talk to around the nation who are working on physician wellness, actually we're probably one of the best communities and the best place to be able to get through this. And that has a lot to do with the community of cohesion that we have historically in Boise. And we need to continue to build and protect that as more people come into our community, more doctors too. We need to help uh, acclimate them to the kind of values and ethos that we have here. And our rapidly shifting culture in medicine is one that's shifting towards compassion and caring and support for those who are providing care. When the storm of COVID subsides, and it will, I invite all of you to continue to lean into rebuilding a culture that supports and values and respects the well-being of physicians and other medical professionals. Thank you for your membership and thanks for your engagement in this dream together.